Hey guys, good afternoon. Tony back again, Horror and Todge. Hope you're all well. Coming back today with another pickups video from this week of 4Ks and Blu-rays. Thought I'd show off what I've got. I've got quite a few bits and bobs what I think you guys would like to see. So uh, yeah, we'll get straight into it. So I know a lot of people pick this up. It's a limited one. And it's the, uh, the Bird with a Crystal Plumage 4K edition. But the one with the original Italian artwork, which I think is limited to a thousand each. So all these new Argento 4Ks, you get two lots. There's an Aristor limited edition, which is this one. And they're limited to a thousand, so they go pretty quickly. And they make good money on eBay afterwards for some crazy reason, even though you can get the normal one. But there's the back, guys. Uh, so the 4K on this is absolutely fantastic, I've, I've heard anyway. There's loads of different special features there, look. As you can see, and it's just a really nice package. You get a book, um, poster, all the good stuff, and all the Italian. I'm not Italian, so don't ask me to say this, but absolutely brilliant this from Argento. And I just love the Italian simplistic artwork. I think it's a really good... A really good package so i'm glad to own this one like i say a thousand copies and they go pretty quickly so really glad to own this one that's a bird with a crystal plumage 4k this is a pretty recent one too um gary kemp and martin kemp peter maddock film the craze from the 90s um really good gangster film this one i do like it better than the uh, tom hardy version which come out, this is just, I don't know, it just brings me back to my childhood, I used to watch it when I was teenagers, first time Blu-ray release in the UK I think, so, really good one, a few special features on there guys as well, look, and you get the rigid slip case, perfectly bound booklet with new essays from Andrew Graves, Graves, six collector's art cards as well, so, Really nice addition, second sight, really killing it at the minute. So that's the craze. But seen a, lot, seen a lot of people picking that one up as well. And then as I was picking that one up, this title come back in stock. Now this has been going for crazy money, but it, they had a few. Uh, someone posted it on Facebook said In Bruges is back on um, second sight website. I think it was twenty one pound or. £21.99 so I quickly grabbed a copy and then it sold out again so I picked up In Bruges which is a really good film if you haven't seen it guys another sort of gangster hitman film really good with Colin Farrell if you haven't seen this one and this one's out of production now but like I say sometimes Second Sight chuck some stuff back on if they've got a few hanging around the warehouse or something but loads of special features there. And there's all the uh, limited edition stuff. But really nice. Thicker than the... Um, thicker than the craze one, to be fair. But it was cheaper. I'll show you. You see that? Two really cool films, though, from Second Sight. Like I say, really good work at the minute they're doing. Uh, trip to HMV the other day. Didn't film it, but I picked this one up for twelve ninety nine because I really like it. It's got the slip cover with it. Really wacky eighties film body melt. If you haven't seen this one, it's absolutely crazy. There's the back guys. It's like stomach churning from nineteen eighty seven. Really crazy. Uh, special features on there too. A booklet and stuff behind the scenes so yeah really happy to get that body mail it's a cool film to be fair it's uh yeah one that i like to watch but really cool so pick that one up couple from 88 films now the new sort of rigid slipcase ones that they've started bringing out i think the italian collection but i do like what they're doing with it they're quite pricey at 25 pound each but I do think they look really good on the shelf and the artwork's fantastic, so 
picked up uh, So Sweet So Perverse. Uh, I'll just cover the back up because I saw some nudity. Another one there, Umberto Lenzi and Carol Baker films. Like a thriller, I suppose, with lots of nudity and stuff. Euro cult film. Haven't watched this one yet, so I look forward to seeing that. There's the special features. What I like about this, you get your, your Amore and then you get like your booklet and stuff, but really nicely, really nicely done. So, got that one. I think the artwork's brilliant. It looks like Grey Mumphreys to me. Picked up this one as well. What come out, I think it came out on Monday. Uh, another non exploitation film, I suppose. The Nun and the Devil. Haven't seen this one before. I saw that woman play a nun a few times though. <laughs> uh, but another one with a slipcase and stuff. There's the back, guys. You want to read that? Limited edition. So we'll just get that in, just in case someone didn't get it. So yeah, I, I really like these. Um, what 88 films are doing really loads of special features on them i know they're 25 pound but they look really nice and on the shelf they do look really nice to be fair so yeah that's so sweet so perverse and the nun and the devil a few more guys picked up a linda blair uh a linda blair film hell night uh the 101 films one do like this film, it's really cool, good atmosphere about it from the 80s, when, when is it, 81, so a little bit after The Exorcist, but really cool film if you haven't seen this, and this has got some brand new special features and stuff I think, transferred from a 4K scan, best surviving, uh, yeah, Best surviving film print, apparently. So, yeah, and you get... It's another one with the Amore and the booklet and stuff, but really nice. Nice sort of original artwork there. That's Hell Night. Pick this one up. This one came out, I think, Monday too. It was originally... I think Arrow Video bought this out, but... I've gone with a new Criterion release, and it is a Brian De Palma film, great film, if you haven't seen it, uh, with John Travolta and Nancy Allen, Blowout, so yeah, this just looks fantastic, look at the sort of artwork on there, or the, uh, the uh, negative from the film they've got, it's really good, so yeah, this is brand new, really good thriller this is. If you haven't seen it from 1981, uh, it's 108 minutes long. So you got director's approved stuff there, what you always do from Criterion. Top notch. Um, there's the back, guys, if you want to read it. Yeah, it's just a really good sort of uh, fast-paced thriller, sort of. Really good, I don't know. Got some great moments in it. I think John Travolta's brilliant in this, and Nancy Allen, to be fair, but... One of John Travolta's best films, best roles in my in my eyes, but really cool film. So I'm glad Criterion brought it out. They always do a nice job, and that's just a brilliant looking release. Seventeen ninety nine. Last one I picked up, guys, this week. Um, I think it's a Korean, what is it? Korean movie. I think I don't know much about it, but it looks absolutely mental. Um, Hansel and Gretel. So a Korean version of this. It's bizarre, deliciously creative, and joy, joyously grotesque. So um, it's got a nice slip cover with it. Don't know much about it, but a lot of these Hansel and Gretel movies out at the minute. So 2007, I think it says, this one come out. So it's like a nightmarish film, apparently. So... Look forward to seeing that. There's the special editions there. Director Yim Phil Sung. 
and Callum Waddell. So, yeah, looks mad on the back. Looks some like some creepy imagery, creepy sisters there or something. So, really looking forward to that. Tell me if you've seen that, guys, because I, I don't know nothing about it. So, yeah, that was my pile this week, guys. Hope you liked it. Hope you're all well. Um, we'll be doing a few more of these when I get round to it. Start doing a bit more of collection overviews and stuff of steel books because I, I like watching them myself so i know you guys will like it probably like do my top 10 steel books in a collection or something because i've been collecting a few of those so yeah it's all good but really happy with the pickups this week guys tell me if you've picked any of them up if you like any of the films if you hate any of the films what you think of them uh, yeah just get in the comments if you need any advice or you want to know anything about them I can soon read the back again or something, but really cool pickups this week. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I've been Tony. Catch you again.